Hello, hello, darlings. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're watching us from. This is Christine on Immaculate Show on this episode of uh, Dubai Heavy Rains Aftermath. You know, most people love to hear things that are only bad. It's when you will rush and go to click and watch the video till the end. But today we are bringing for you the beautiful, the best of Dubai floods. You're going to ask yourself how beautiful it is. You know this place where I'm standing right now? This is a place seven days back, eight days back, we were crying, we were, <laughs> we were swimming here. No one would dare to stand here. If you even caught standing here, <laughs> you are, you're bound to be arrested. Oh, you'll make everybody go Gaza, go Gaga, will even shouting, Christine, Christine, you'll drown, take care, why? So guys, today we are really grateful to be with you in this part of Al Majaz, Shalja. This is Al Majaz, uh, the place which was flooded, which was making headlines. Behold, we bless God for Shalja, for Shalja government that came to our rescue. You'll be seeing the video, the, the way the trucks, the way the the drainage trucks were. were were really serious for the two nights you'll be seeing it in the video in front there but meanwhile here i'm going to show you how i took a step of kindness these are individuals who showed kindness to the uh, to the community around al Majaz. this is one of the the grocery or of the shops that really served millions of people or hundreds of people around Al Majaz. The waters in this uh, in this shop it was up to their <coughs> up to their knees. But they managed to stand there for long days. The um, the post was not working. The lines in water and floods were too very long. Everyone was running to grab whatever is supposed to grab and stock in the house. But these people managed to stay put. These people managed to stay with us. These people managed to serve till, till their feet felt like, you know, when it is freezing in water. And this cafeteria, I can say they were there for us. They were there for the community. So I came to present to them a vote of thanks for their kindness that they did for the community. Not for me, but for the community. You know, you people, when you've not known what kindness is, you will never know how to say thank you. By the day you will know somebody who has checked on you, the day you will know somebody who has said, can you get this? It's when you appreciate and know that kindness is very expensive than the money you hold in the bank account when there's no one to say, have this for yourself. So guys, here you can see me. I took another step. I went to this volunteer group to say thank you to them. Because it's not a joke. By the way, we are still in Almaja 3. This is behind my building. And this, this place was very loaded, was very flooded, that no one could pass there. But the cars would come along here, the, the, uh, the pickups, they would come to supply water, they would come to supply food, others even went ahead to supply cooked food for the families. You see this press, this press six days ago, seven days ago, no one would stand here. We used to peep in our, <laughs> in our windows in balcony to see whether there's life outside there. But special thanks to the, the government of Shalja that it came to the rescue of people, we can now smile. This is what exactly they did. This is the sample of al Majaz 3. This is the sample whereby they had to bring more trucks, more drainage trucks. They were here for two nights. To bring more trucks for, uh, for cleaning, for washing. You guys, the problem is told to somebody who has ever seen it, who has ever experienced it, and will accept it, and will appreciate it. So today we are appreciating the government officials, the non-government officials, the private sectors, the individuals who came up and decided to, uh, to lend a hand to the community around UAE, 
and a round shoulder in particular. Thank you guys. You will not understand the situation people were in when they were under floods lockdown for six days, seven days. Some of them had no power. Some of them had no lifts. They would walk from their uh, whatever is it 7th, 10th, 12th, 13th floor up to the ground floor to see whether there is life down there. Some of them, <clears throat> the garbage smells stinking was killing them but they had to obey they had to have hopes they have to look up to the government because they had strength they had hopes in the government of Sharjah and in uae in particular kudos to the government of uae kudos to the government of Sharjah. thank you for touching the hands thank you for touching the hearts of people and thank you for encouraging everybody and whoever is in private sector whoever is in a volunteer team that rendered a hand rendered a even a message that you sent to a, a person who was in al Majaz and in Sharjah in particular, we bless you hand so much. I took a step also to appreciate um, my colleagues. You know you people, I always tell you, if you ever see someone sending you a message very early in the morning or at any time, know that that person has thought about you. Either has thought about you in a bad way or in a good way. But this one is in a good way. We have individuals, you people, among the whole, uh, can I say, among thousands of people. I take special thanks to the best five people that really checked on me, checked on us. The first one was the Mr. Michael Kafo. Mr. Michael Kafo Chinedu, you're so wonderful. We love you so much. That money that you spent calling us, knowing that we are stable, knowing that we are okay, you are wonderful. The second one is Tabita. Tabita, you're so great. You can see how the ground is now dry. We are just as if we are in Ramadan. We know we're excited as if we're in Christmas. We're like young kids. Then the third one is called Jams. Jams from Kenya, but she stays in Dubai. Thank you very much, Jamila. You're so beautiful. Jamila would call me. She even reached an extent of saying, can we send trucks to bring you food? Imagine. This is the lift that wasn't working for seven days. Here I am now entering in the lift. Thank you to the management and thank you to the government of UAE. Look at the ground. The ground is so clean. Then I go ahead and I thank the family of social media. I thank the family, my family back, whoever managed to say hi to me and say, how are we? And even to say hi to the individuals. Thank you very much.